everybody, this is Scott. I'm back with another video. And this one will be quickly reviewing Advanced System Care 6.2. 6.2 was released um, earlier this month. And uh, as we can see, I have Advanced System Care Pro. And we're going to just go quickly go over what they changed. The scan times are overall more faster. Uh, malware, pr registry, junk, it all seems to be much faster. And the UI doesn't freeze up like it did in the past. In the past, we had issues where it would start to churn, and you'd see the little uh, wrench, like you'll see here. Oh, come on. After this, this would freeze. It now seems to be more consistent. I haven't had any freezes with the program. I only had it like three times before, but I haven't had any recently. So that's really good. Uh, also, the registry fix, which is what I'm do quickly doing right now, was uh, improved to find more items, which is really nice because... And in the past, the registry at fix, I didn't feel like it was as powerful as other ones, such as JetClean, CCleaner, or some of its other competitors. But the best part was, is I could just use those, use them once, and then leave. A fairly simple process. So, this is basically one of their main highlights. <coughs> However, now in Advanced System Care, they do include the IOBit uninstaller. Because in the past, they had the IOBit uninstalled, but it wasn't, like, included with it. But uh, since I have not installed already as a separate item, it won't really do much. Let me show you there. Also, the IOBit uninstalled did get better scanning and removal of registry items, which was good because it's going to help making cleanup of junk files far better. Speaking of junk files, let's do, just do that real quick. Oh, one of the main highlights, though, was... Um, the internet and the system optimization did get new changes. I can't obviously change anything because it's already been optimized, but now it is faster. It's just overall faster for uh, all users. And I feel like it's far better than what was before, but the change isn't noticeable enough because while it is faster, you won't notice it after it's like already three times faster than it was before. But truly, this software does what it says, and the 300% inc increase in internet time is actually not a lie. That's kind of nice. Okay. Firefox optimization. I'm going to say recommend, and I'm going to say optimize Firefox. Because I can honestly care less, and Firefox was always annoying. Mm, that doesn't sound right. And Firefox in the past used to be slow. Still such a stupidly slow program. Hey, Firefox. However, now if I go somewhere and say Google, and it is faster than it was before. Chrome, it always tries to get me to turn some, use DNS to improve. I don't want to do that. Bookmark AI. Internet Explorer doesn't need anything, neither does that. So, overall, the program didn't receive that major updates. However, it is becoming far better than it used to be in the past, and I feel like people will start to realize this and will use it more than its other competitors, such as CCleaner. Because it comes with a, it just comes with so many features, and it truly does what it says, and it does increase internet time speed by 300%. Generally, the browser speed by turning off unnecessary items. I don't know why. And it does work. So truly, if you are like, if you truly are looking for a software like the one hit, one click button, and everything's fixed. This is something you're going to want to look into. Not to mention that even the simplified mode, it's just not complicated by any means. Just to put this in perspective, it's removed 1,177 malware form of tracking cookies. Registry items were 31,000. Delete shortcuts fixed 368. I uninstall a lot of stuff. Junk files cleaned 72,000. 72.95 gigabytes. Internet boosted uh, 42 times. Privacy erased 124,000 times. It's done nine Windows updates. It's uh, frag. It's fixed 48,000 
fragments and it's optimized those fragments 44,456 times. That's pretty amazing. Considering I don't use the, I mean, I do use the program a lot, but it's just in my daily routine for my computer. So, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions about this, uh, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And I, I will ask them. I will answer them. I'm going to ask them the questions you are. So, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.